just set this up. All right, we should be recording here. All right, so Paul, I'll let you take it away and um, put us through some chair yoga. All right, you can hear me okay? Yeah. All right, so we'll do a, a bit of chair yoga and I like to use the yin style of yoga, which is where we stay in a pose longer. Um, we take ourselves to the edge of where we start to feel stretch and we sit there and breathe and that edge goes away and then we move ourselves a little deeper into the stretch. So we take a little more time in each stretch and pay a little more attention. But I'd like to start, first of all, by trying to relax the mind through the breath work. So if you want, just close your eyes and we just focus on breathing. Inhaling nice and slowly through the nose. Keep inhaling and then holding it for a bit and then exhaling slowly when you want. Exhaling longer than inhaling reverses fight or flight. And when you're exhaling, bring the navel into the spine. When you think you're done exhaling, bring the navel in and squeeze out any more air there. And then you sit there and relax and allow the lungs to expand to draw air in. Just slowly focusing on the breath in and out. And while you're exhaling, you can pretend you're fogging up a mirror. You can do it with your lips closed. The only thing that does is help slow the breath down by restricting the throat just a little bit. So inhaling again, nice and slowly and exhaling slowly. I'm gonna remind you throughout the practice of getting back control of the breath. Now that we have control of the breath, we've separated kind of the mind, let's, let's choose a happy time or a happy memory that we have. Something that makes us feel good. And let that feeling of goodness come into our heart. Let that feeling come into our body. Be aware of that, relax, exhale, put a smile on the face. You put a smile on your face that the, the body's gonna tell the mind we're happy and the, the mind's gonna go, oh, here's some good stuff for you then. So sit and we can choose, we can choose to be happy. We can choose to feel this way, but it takes work and practice. So we're inhaling nice and slowly and exhaling slowly. Now let's start focusing on the body. We'll bring ourselves to the edge of the chair. So we're just sitting on our sit bones, right on the edge of the chair, removing any skin or muscle that might be underneath them. So we're directly on the chair. So relaxing the sit bones, relaxing the muscles between the sit bones, relaxing the low back, letting the low belly just hang down, letting the upper belly relax. Inhaling and relaxing and exhaling, relaxing, exhaling, bringing the navel into the spine. Again, focusing on the sit bones. Can you relax them a little bit more? Can they be more at ease? Can we relax the knees, relax the feet, relax the jaw? Is our tongue touching your program out? Can we release that? Can we release our eyebrows? Just relax our jaw. If, see if you can slide your jaw side to side. Feel how tense it is and if you can relax it and be aware of it. And opening up and down the mouth too. Opening up a wide, opening that jaw, relaxing, making circles, relaxing it. And now we'll go to the neck. We'll slowly bend the head forward and side to side, just stretching the back of the neck. Then bringing the head up and leaning back and going side to side again, nice and slow and gentle. If you feel any tension or kinks, pause in those and try to relax the shoulders. Bring us, make a complete circle now, whichever way you'd like. Just going around nice and slowly. Wherever we put our attention, our body moves to it. So if we're sitting at a computer screen, our head is gonna to move towards it. Let's reverse directions now. If my head weighs 10 pounds, when it's balanced on top of my neck. And then I start to move my head forward a bit to go closer to a screen. Now it's equal to 20 pounds pulling on my neck. And I move my head even further. Now it's equal to 30 pounds pulling. And that's gonna pull the back of the neck. 
So it's important to pay attention how, where is my head? Is my head leaning forward, making 30 pounds of weight pulling on the back? Or can I do 20 pounds? Or can I get to 10 pounds? Can I get there and relax and align the spine? So when you align the spine, you assist with the breathing, the circulation, the lymph node system, everything is, has easier energy flow. So become aware and using the breath again, inhaling slowly and exhaling slowly. Now let's focus on the sit bones again and we'll rotate. We'll rotate over to the right and see if we can grab the back of our chair with our hand and we'll open up that right clavicle. And we'll exhale and allow ourselves to twist even more. You can use your opposite hand to help guide your knee. So sitting here, just relaxing, relaxing the sides of your body, relaxing the low belly, or let that low belly relax so you can start the twist there. Relax the upper belly, relax the chest. See if you can twist a little deeper on your exhale now. Maybe you can turn your head closer to the back of the room now. Relaxing the jaw. So we're twisting, stretching out the side of the neck as we're looking backwards. Maybe you can take your hand off the back of the chair and reach your arm out right directly behind you. For example, if you can like yeah, that's gonna open up that open up that collarbone a little more. You can balance the arm on the back of the chair or you can lift it off the back of the chair. Bringing that arm overhead, reaching to the ceiling and bringing it back in front of us. Now let's take that shoulder and it'll give it a circulation forward and backwards, rotating whichever way it like. But when you're done, bring the shoulder to the back and allow it to relax down. Now let's switch to the other side. So starting again at the low waist, relaxing the hip bones, relaxing the sit bones, relax the low belly. We'll start twisting from there. So we can reach back with our other arm and grab the back of the chair and start to twist the low belly, the chest, and if you want, looking backwards, going to that edge where you feel you're getting a good stretch, and now relaxing the body where you're feeling that stretch, and letting that edge go away, exhaling nice and slowly, inhaling slowly, relaxing the jaw, relaxing the throat, being at ease. Remember that happy feeling we had a couple minutes ago? Let's have that again. That's a nice feeling to have. We can choose to have that and feel good, put a smile on our face, be happy. Our body's happy. It's getting some attention. It's getting some stretching. Maybe we're going to reach that right arm behind us now, or sorry, left arm, and lift it off the back of the chair. Open up that collarbone. That feels nice. Exhaling nice and slowly. Allowing that shoulder to come down still, even though it's reaching, allowing the shoulder still to come down. Then raising that hand overhead and bringing us forward. And let's do another circulation on that arm, forward and backwards. Nice work. Now if you have the arms on your chair, or if you can reach Grab the back of the chair with both hands. When you bring yourself to the edge, you'll be able to reach. So the farther you can get to the edge, the better you're going to be able to access the chair. So grabbing onto the chair rails if you can, or the sides, whichever works for you. Relaxing the low belly and letting it come forward, letting the upper belly, letting the chest come forward. So you're going between, you're opening up those clavicles there. Using your feet to, your, to support yourself from coming forward but exhaling nice and slowly and opening up those clavicles again. Sometimes the muscles are stiffer and need a little movement to help them relax. So what we can do is bring our elbows to the rails of the chair, pull us back and like forward and backward. And then we can see we can get a little deeper. Or maybe you wanna lean one shoulder forward and lean the other shoulder forward as we're doing this. Find what to play around and feel what feels good in your body. Everybody's body is different and they're gonna have different needs and different areas where we've had injuries in the past and so forth, different areas of carrying tension. So opening up those shoulders still, exhaling and relaxing. Bringing our arms out to a T. So we have our arms level at a T now. Letting the shoulders sink down. 
Don't, not having them up, not having them sink down. Now we're just going to slowly move. This is called Soma Yoga. We're going to slowly move our hands up over our heads. So this, this is a point of becoming awareness. So we're slowly moving. Our, I'm moving my hands so slowly right now, keeping my shoulders down. I'm paying attention to my body. How is it moving? I'm feeling the skin. I'm feeling my fingertips. I'm feeling my palms open up. I'm feeling things relax. I'm becoming aware. See if I feel a spot. Oh, that's an uncomfortable spot. Okay, I know there's an issue there. I need to relax. Relaxing the shoulders, moving the hands up, reaching with the fingertips out. Exhaling nice and slowly, relaxing the jaw, relaxing the forehead, slowly moving up, feeling the sensation of the palms, feeling the fingers relax. Feeling the elbows relax, the shoulders sinking back down, down into the back. Let your shoulders sink into your back pockets. Bringing the hands closer up to the ceiling, reaching up to the ceiling with the fingertips, yet at the same time, plugging the shoulders into the shoulder pockets. And when you get your hands together, you wonder like, oh my goodness, where am I gonna touch them? It feels so far. Bring your hands down to heart center and exhale. Very good. All right, let's do a little bit of leg work now. So we're gonna, we, we have two options here. We can just put both legs out and see if we can, oh, sorry, we'll pick this right leg only, oh, sorry, forgive me. We'll pick our right leg out and keep it straight and, and fold over it, relaxing behind the kneecap, relaxing all the hamstrings, pointing the toes towards the ceiling. So we're resting on the heel and we can use our, our knee to support ourselves if we want. Trying to keep the head in straight line with the spine. So it's not leaning forward or reaching, arching up back. We're keeping it straight, the body is straight. We're folding at the hip bones. Exhaling, maybe you can sink a little deeper now. Feel that stretch in the back of the hamstrings or the hip. Exhaling nice and slowly. Allowing yourself to allow the low belly to rest on the thighs, allow the upper belly to relax, allow the chest to open up, relaxing the throat, relaxing the jaw, inhaling with ease and exhaling with ease. And then when you're ready, come back up to a sitting position and we'll switch legs, bringing the right leg in, extending the left leg. And then again, starting, if you can, Put the palms of your, put your palms on the ridges of your pelvis. When you, if you have your palms there, where your fingertips are pointing down, keep your fingertips there and allow the hands to come out. So right now your finger point, your fingers are pointed at the place where you need to pivot your body. So focus on pivoting from that position where your fingers are pointing. Between our spine, between our rib cage and our pelvis, it's all soft. We can fold and bend in where we want there, but we want to fold at this location. So we're resting the palms on top of the pelvis with the fingers pointed down, bringing the fingers out and fold from that area. That way we know we're folding the entire back as, as a straight line. So again, we can use the other knee to support ourselves as we slowly fold over that straight leg, relaxing behind the knee relaxing the hamstrings and you don't have to hold your hands there. You can just leave them go wherever you'd like, wherever to support yourself, whatever you're comfortable with. Keeping your neck straight, keeping your relaxing jaw as you exhale. Maybe you can fold a little deeper now. And we'll bring ourselves back up to a seated position. So we'll try to do this then. If, we'll do, if you can cross your legs, whether you can bring it up to the foot up to your knee, or you can just bring it up over your shin, whatever, wherever, you, or just even together. But ultimately, the, the, the farther you bring your knee up, the deeper of a stretch you're going to get. So this is going to stretch the hip of the, of the leg that's resting. So again, folding at that location and leaning forward and folding over that leg. And if you want, you can reach through and grab or you can use it to support yourself or whatever you'd like. So this is, you're going to be feeling this one in the hip. 
You want to give your ankle a circulation, rotating your foot one way and then the other way. Relaxing the hips. Seeing if you feel the hip stretch, seeing where you're feeling it, how much you're feeling it. When we do the other side, so you can compare and say, okay, this hip feels the same or this hip feels better or worse. Exhaling nice and slowly. Maybe go a little deeper, a little deeper into that stretch. Relaxing the low belly on the thigh. And then when you're ready, bringing yourself up to sitting position. Let's let the legs come out. We'll give them a shake after they maybe a little pinch nerve and resting up there and we'll switch legs. So bring the left leg up onto the knee or the left leg up onto the shin, wherever you're comfortable with. And then again, folding from the pelvis, hip joint, letting the low belly rest on the thigh as we lean forward. Exhaling, relaxing. Releasing, becoming aware of where you're feeling tension. Maybe I'm not feeling any tension in my hip at all. Maybe I'm feeling it in my knee in this side. It's becoming aware of the body. Relaxing any areas you do feel tension in. In order to get a healthy stretch, the muscle will stretch much easier when it's relaxed. But if the muscle is engaged, then it's much more difficult to stretch a muscle. Exhaling nice and slowly, maybe sinking a little deeper. Maybe sinking a little more. Exhaling, bringing the navel into the spine, relaxing the jaw, relaxing the shoulders. Inhaling with ease, putting a smile on your face, feels nice. Choose the mood, choose the feeling. And then on your own time, bring yourself back up to center. Stick the legs out, give them a shake. So we're doing a little cat and cow poses while sitting in our chair. So a, a, a cow pose is we extend our belly out and arch our back and bring our shoulders behind us. And we can look up to the ceiling if we want. Maybe swing our shoulders back and forth, side to side. And then there's the cat where we arch our back the opposite direction. So we're bringing our shoulders in. We can use our pull with our knees. We can put our hands under our hamstrings and help pull, stretching, arching that back. So inhaling and exhaling, moving back between those positions on your own choice of breath, following your breath, moving with your breath, relaxing with your breath. Being at ease, taking a pause between breaths, just to sit and be there. It's okay to take those pauses up between breaths. They're very important. It allows the body more time to stretch. So just going in and out. And when you're ready, coming back to center. I will grab the right knee but grab the right shin, sorry, and we'll get, and as much as you like, pull it into your body. Give yourself a little hug with it. Maybe you want to straighten the leg even or whatever. And then start doing some circles, whichever way you want to go. Relaxing the hip, feeling the sit bone on the chair, feeling that shoulders relaxed and switching directions. Exhaling, relaxing, being at ease. Observe how you're feeling right now. And then relaxing, bring the foot down and we'll switch sides, grabbing the left shin, bring it into the chest and give it a stretch. Maybe you want to straighten that leg or bring it out, whatever you'd like to do, whatever your body wants. And then we'll start doing some circles with this hip. Relaxing the shoulders, exhaling slowly, becoming aware of any tension. 
Become aware of any muscles that are becoming more comfortable and more at ease. Recognizing that feeling of the body's getting healthier. And then switching directions. See how the body moves in that direction. Is it making the same circle or is it making a different circle when I move it that way? Becoming aware, finding any tension, relaxing into it. And then bring both feet down. And then slowly just lay down on the on the on top of our thighs and let yourself hang there, releasing the low back. So this is stretching the low back. So just let yourself hang forward. And if you want, you can use your hands to on the backs of your shins to help pull you down a little farther to closer to the ground. Maybe you want to put one shoulder down and then the other, twisting a little. And then exhaling and sink, sinking a little deeper. Relaxing the jaw. And then slowly coming up, not to get a head rush or get dizzy, so taking our time, slowly bringing up one, one vertebrae at a time, stacking them on top of each other. Nice and slowly, relaxing the jaw, relaxing the shoulders. Focusing on every vertebrae, the middle, the upper, working our way to the top, bringing the shoulders back and letting them come down. All right, bring yourself to the edge of our seat again. And if you're not there, bring your hands out in front of us, clasping the fingers, rotating the palms out and stretching the backs of the fingers, allowing the shoulders to come out and switching side to side, doing a little twist, going up overhead and still keeping the shoulders in the armpits, in, the, in their sockets, sorry. So reaching up and down, bringing the shoulders down, hands forward and releasing them. We'll do another um, exercise with the hands, grabbing onto the wrists and just rotating the hands in whatever direction you like. And then switching directions. Grabbing the opposite wrist, rotating it around. and switching directions. Raising the hands, give them all maybe independently, get them going. Anything you want to do, whatever feeling, whatever you want to do, push them together, bring them up and down, work the wrists, whatever your body wants, just allow it to flow and be at ease. All right, we'll do a little bit of standing things now, a couple of exercises before we come back and sit down. So bring ourselves up and I'll go to the side, hold on to the chair and bring your right leg up onto the chair. So again, we're gonna fold over this leg. So again, fold, remember the point, the point to put our fingers to fold from and you can use the chair for support and just allow yourself to fold over, relaxing behind the knee, relaxing the calf, relaxing the hip, relaxing the foot, exhaling. We're just gonna sit here for a bit, exhaling, relaxing the throat, relaxing the jaw, inhaling nice and slowly, exhaling slowly, allowing the low belly to relax. Feeling the stretch. Exhaling, maybe go a little deeper. Relaxing the groin, relaxing behind the knee. Relaxing the sit bones, relaxing the low back. Exhaling, maybe go a little deeper. Then again, slowly one vertebrae at a time coming back up using a chair to support ourselves. If you want to shake that leg out, 
We'll switch to the other side. Other side of the chair, bringing our left leg up. Pulling from the hips, letting the low belly come down, the chest relaxing behind the knee, relaxing the calf, relaxing the groin, the hip bones, the glutes, the low back, the jaw. Inhaling slowly, exhaling slowly, releasing the shoulders. Exhaling to sink deeper into the pose. Exhaling to release the tension that you feel in your leg. Inhaling slowly and then exhaling a little deeper so you can sink a little deeper into the pose. Relaxing the hamstrings and relaxing the sit bones, the muscles between the sit bones, the low back. Relaxing the throat and the jaw, exhaling, maybe even go deeper. And then slowly on your own time, vertebrae at a time, coming back up the standing position. Shake that leg out. We'll return to the other side again. Bringing the right foot. We'll make a nice right 90 degree angle with it. So now we can, our standing leg, we're going to bend it. We're going to sort of squat and let squat that leg straight down. So we want to go straight down, keeping that leg up. This also strengthens, helps strengthen the standing leg. Pay attention to how you're coming up. If you're coming straight up and straight down. And then switching sides, go to the other side of the chair and bring the left foot up <clears throat> and allowing that right leg to bend. Sinking straight up and shooting straight up, dropping straight down, keeping the shoulders back. This one here, I have a creaky knee. And when you're ready, bring yourself to standing position. Bring ourselves to the front of our chair. And we'll do a little partial squats. We'll go to sit on the chair, but not sit on it. We'll just hover over the edge. So we're going to hover over the edge. You can bring your hands to heart center. You bring your hands straight up if you like. You can bring your hands forward. Whatever, you can bring your hands out to a T. You can bring your hands out behind you and clasp them and see if you can open up your shoulder blades. Whatever you're comfortable with, we'll try any of them that you like. And now let's shift side to side. Stick, point the hip out side to side. Like we're wagging our tail. We're gonna be happy to sit down because we're hurt, our legs are holding us up. All right, then we can come to the edge and sit down. Bring our right hand up over our head and using our left hand to grab onto the wrist, let's lean over to the left. Let that side stretch, looking up to the ceiling if we can. Exhaling, relaxing. On an inhale, coming up, grabbing the opposite wrist and hanging over to the other side. Looking up to the ceiling. Going back up to center. And again, we'll do a couple twists. So just reaching the back of the chair, twisting up the, seeing if we can get our twist a little deeper this time, starting at the low belly, twisting, looking backwards, exhaling to release. Switching sides, twisting to the other side. The 
I'd like to end the, the last little bit by just sitting, focusing on our posture, focusing on the sit bones, and then our lower back stacked on top of that, the middle of our belly button, stack it there, our heart, stack it, our shoulders back and down, our head, is it back, is it stacked over, our ears over our shoulders, is our jaw down, is our jaw relaxed. So let's close our eyes and just focus on breathing, inhaling nice and slowly, taking a pause at the top of the breath to feel the lungs expand. Maybe you want to take another breath in to fill them more mm -hmm. since they've expanded. Hold that for a bit, relaxing, and then release it out. Bring the navel into the spine, letting your energy sink into the chair. And as that energy sinks into the chair, hold your exhale. Keep letting that energy drain before you inhale. And then when you're ready, slowly inhaling and relaxing, bringing your air back in nice and slowly. And we'll just sit here for a couple minutes. And if you want to choose a feeling, go to a memory to choose or and get a feeling into your body and then forget the memory. Put a smile on your face. Just sit here being happy and being at rest. And ask yourself, what is it bother? How am I feeling right now at this right time? What is my problem right now? I'm, I'm, am I good? Am I feeling good? Am I okay? Because all we have is the present. This is all we have. Otherwise, we're in the memory or in the future making or creativity or imagination. So just sitting and being, your eyes are closed, observe the blackness, just be. Just sitting, allowing the body to relax, allowing the body weight to sink into the chair, allowing the sit bones to sink into the chair, the low belly to relax, relaxing the chest, relaxing the throat, my head, my ears over my shoulders again, my shoulders relaxed. Inhaling, holding it. Allowing the lungs to inflate. And then on your own time, slowly relaxing, exhaling, slow as you can through the mouth. Releasing, relaxing the jaw, bringing the navel into the spine. Then on your own time, opening up the eyes, coming back to the present, or if you want, you wish to stay in this as long as you like, enjoy. Um, that's all I had planned for today. <laughs>